Hi everybody, this is Dr. Una. I am the CEO of Ivy League Pediatrics and I just wanted to take a moment and talk to all my moms and dads out there. I know it's back to school time, everybody's crazy shopping, getting school forms and all of that stuff. And you know, at work, I've noticed some trends that I'm sure are bothering you as well. And I wanted to kind of give you some tips on how to survive this season, okay? Okay, so I talk to a lot of kids and of course over the summer it seems like, you know, everybody kind of had free reigns, they were freelancing, you know, so not necessarily any routine, a lot of screen time, so TV, phone, tablet, I mean a lot of screen time, sleep times that are like all over the place. I had patients going to bed at 3 a.m., you know, 2 a.m., um, crazy diets. Some of them were home with grandma, and I love grandmas. Anybody who's, uh, whose kid is a pa patient of mine knows that I love grandmas. But then they're like, yeah, let them eat that, or let them eat that. Or let I mean, I had some kids put on 20 pounds over the summer, but we can fix this, okay? We're not going to cry over spilled milk. So I want to give you a few tips. What do you need to do with your kids now that school has started so you can get them you know, back on a routine and set them up to succeed and have a great school year and all of that stuff, okay? All right, so the first thing that you need to do is you gotta tame the screens, okay? Now, when I talk about screens, I mean phone, tablet, laptop, desktop, don't worry, I'm itemizing them for a reason. <laughs> Fridges that connect to the internet and all of that stuff. And, you know, the CDC does have data that shows that over the age of eight, um, you know, kids are spending as much as seven and a half hours of screen time a day um, and it's interfering with their sleep, it's keeping them immobile, so they're really gaining a lot of weight and all that stuff. So um, we want to tame that. The recommendation is that they spend no longer than two hours. School is about to start next week, so no more than two hours of screen time. Um, of course, you're trying to introduce something new and all human beings, including adults, do not like change. So they're probably going to fuss at you and all that stuff, but that's okay. All right. You are mommy and daddy. You are their life coach. So you need to help them, uh, to do, <laughs> to do the right thing. So tame the screens. Okay. So it may have been whatever it was over the summer, but cut it down, drop it to two hours, get them back in school mode. Now, two, two hours is the cap. I know for a lot of my parents, their thing is we don't do video games and all of that stuff during the week. They only get to do it over the weekend. If that's what you do for your home, then now is the time to reintroduce that. So tame the screens. The second thing is clean up their diet, okay? So yes, over the summer, there's a lot more fast food, a lot more junk food, a lot more grazing, just eating all through the day and all of that kind of stuff. So now is a great time to take out the junk food, to take out the sweets, to take out all of that, go back to regular healthy meals, um, fruits, vegetables, lots of water, um, clean up their diet, okay? I'm not going to go into a whole, um, um, you know, scientific discussion about the impact of, you know, an unhealthy diet, um, but especially your sweets and all that stuff, right? All you need to do is, is this good? Is this a good thing to do? Give it to a two-year-old, right? And watch what happens after they get it, <laughs> right? It's a lot of hyperactivity and all of that stuff. So just clean up their diet, okay? And the truth is that, especially for kids, if we clean up their diet and all that stuff, the way that they gained over the summer, chances are that they would shed it, shed it as well, okay? Number three, bedtime routine. So we need to go back, okay? So different homes have different rules. Some of you, it's eight o'clock is your bedtime, some nine, some 10, whichever it is it's time to go back to a bedtime routine. And one of the things that um, affects the kids the most, especially the older kids, and stops them from actually um, having good sleep is their screens, right? So they have the phone in the room and they're kind of chit-chatting and texting with their friends and stuff like that. And before you know it's happening, it's 1 a.m. So what my recommendation is, is that technology should go off an hour before bedtime. So if bedtime is nine o'clock or eight o'clock, um, so let's say nine o'clock at eight o'clock phones, um, TV, video games, all of those should go off. Right. And the technology should not charge in the kid's room. Now, um, parents, you, we all know that sometimes even as adults, it's kind of hard to control what we do with social media and the amount of time we spend on our phones and tablets and all of that stuff. Um, so imagine what it's like for a kid. Okay. So, um, 
it, it, it's not, I think the best thing to do would be to take it out of the room so they don't have to have the temptation and try to fight the temptation of going back on their screens. I know a number of kids who would wake up in the middle of the night, pee, and they're like, oh, let me just see what's going on on Snapchat. And before you know it's happening, they've been awake for another two hours. They're sleepy in class. They're failing their classes. And some of it is their screen time. So phones and all of that stuff should charge in mommy and daddy's room, right? An hour before bedtime, it goes off, it charges in mommy, mommy and daddy's room so that they can get a better quality of sleep, okay? And so also the first thing they do in the morning is not go back on Instagram or Snapchat or, or any of those things, okay? So number one is taming the screens. Number two is clean up the diet. Number three is getting back a bedtime routine. Number four is reading. Um, a great number of parents did a really good job, had their kids reading throughout the summer. And if you didn't, we, we're just going to start from where we are again. We don't cry over sm spilled milk, okay? So get them reading. Get them reading books. Get them doing maybe some math drills. Think of it like a warm-up, right? Before you do exercise, you warm up. Before um, you, you know, sometimes you, you start your car, you warm it up a little bit, right? Um, so their brains have kind of been for some dormant <laughs> over the summer and we want to do a warm-up okay so have them do some kind of work um, depending on what you've done over the summer for 30 minutes to an hour an hour is my preference till school starts right and then they can just continue from there so let them read let them do some writing let them do some math drills and all of those kind of things okay get them reading jump start their brain get their brain kind of ready and ramped up and you know ready for school so that they can start with a bang as opposed to warming their brains up when school starts okay so I want you to imagine if you get to that point where your kid is now down to two hours of screen time. A lot of parents will say amen, right? right? Um, the diet is cleaned up. They're going to bed on time. They've started reading. Plus all the other stuff you've done for back to school, they're kind of, you know, set to do it. But these are some of the things, of course, I could give you a hundred things, but these are some of the things that you absolutely have to do as we get back into, into school. So do it, okay? So take the screens, um, tame it, tame them. Um, they're going to resist. They're probably going to go like, this is not fair. They're probably going to make faces, but you're the life coach, okay? When my personal trainer works with me, sometimes I make faces, but I know she's good for me, <laughs> okay? Clean up their, their diet, um, put the bedtime thing in, back in, you know, let them go to bed at a godly hour and, and get them reading, okay? And what I, what I hope for your kids is that, you know, they'd be healthy and that they would excel at school because I believe the best thing a young person can do is make themselves better. And that's what they do at school. They're improving themselves, personal development and all of that stuff. Okay. Now, if your kid is still overdue for a checkup and you need forms for school, we have made some kind of accommodations for some kind of last minute appointments and all that stuff. So give us a call. Okay. Or you can go to our website, um, www.ivyleaguepediatrics.com and make an appointment for your kid um, so that, you know, all of that's taken care of. They've had their physical done and we know health-wise we're good, okay? All right, so I hope your kids have an amazing school year, that this will be their best one yet. Um, and um, I look forward to seeing you guys whenever you come to the office for a checkup or if you need us for anything else, okay? All right, thanks for watching. Bye.